Hey, welcome back, folks. Um, yeah, so I'm back on the uh, Virago again, and um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get the carburetor off of there and uh, run it through my ultrasonic cleaner and make sure it looks good. Make sure nothing else is clogged on it, which I'm sure it is, because now it won't even start at all. Um, it'll turn over, just won't, you know, kick up. So. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take those carb that carb off. It's just one. All right, we got the carb off. Now we just need to figure out how to uh, disassemble it so we can start cleaning it. <sighs> Love it when hoses don't want to come off. Usually, if you just grab them and twist them a little bit, they'll free themselves up. Just like that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see down in there, but that slide, it keeps getting stuck open. There's a ton of dirt in there. Um, so, yeah, basically I'm just going to disassemble this. Oops. There must have been a little bit of gas in there still. Just leaked it on the table. So, yeah, so basically I'm just going to disassemble this and uh, throw all the parts into the, to the ultrasonic cleaner over there. Um... These screws are out. Ah, dang. I wonder if that was me. <laughs> oh boy. None of them. Can't get any of them. Shoot, what about the float bowl? Let's look at it. Can get those off? Nope, they're stripped out too. All the, sc all the screws are stripped out. That's not normally my... Try a bigger screwdriver. Ah, there we go. Let me get my little... Okay, sorry about that. I take care of something. Okay, here we go. Ah, they're all coming. Just using a different screwdriver here. Got a little bigger head on it. A little better bite. It's going to be interesting to see how nasty this thing is on the inside. The good thing about the ultrasonic cleaner is I've got um, simple green in it, industrial uh, airplane strength, simple green, and it um, it's not harmful to rubber parts. So we can literally throw everything in there if we wanted to. It won't, won't matter, you know. So um, actually, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, yeah, there's some gunk in there, but it's not too bad. Heck, even the jets don't look. Float seems to be okay. Looks like it's at a 45, which is where it's supposed to be. Just like it is. Let's see if we can't get this top off again now. I might have to get new screws for this. This is a. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. Just a, a little trick. You got a screw like that that you can get easy access to it with a Dremel. Just cut a line in it and use a flathead, or sometimes you can still use your Phillips even. Um, but just use a flathead to get that screw out. Since we're going to replace the screws anyway, it well, doesn't matter.
tun. Should do it. No. All right. Give me a flathead. Where's my flat? There we go. Man, this thing that is tight. Super tight. not want to come out. Not believe how hard that was. <laughs> that was really tight. All right, so should be a spring under here. While this is off, I'm also going to do the uh, the uh, spring and slide mo uh, mods, where you um, you basically take the yeah, I'll throw that. In. Or two. Basically, clip the spring down to, and in this slide in here, let me see if I can get this out without tearing it. Yep, there it goes. And then slide in here, you drill an extra hole down here. Like right, you see that hole? Just right below that one, you would drill an extra hole. So, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and do that too while I'm at it. Um, yeah, look at that needle. Look how nasty it is. See how brown it is and everything? So, that'll go in the, to get cleaned. Should have disconnected. Nah, we'll leave it on for now. Alright. Um, anything else that I might want to... Should I take the float out? Or should I get it cleaned too? Um, I'll tell you what. I can manually do it. I don't want to risk the float coming off or anything in, in there so I will um, just manually clean the float and the float needle which looks good matter of fact they both look good so yeah I don't know if you can look down in there but man it's I mean look Look at the dirt coming out of it. So nasty, nasty. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that in there, just like that, um, and see what it does. You don't have to clean it all up with carb cleaner, but you know it'll get to most of it done. So you can see what it looks like now. This is the bottom of it. Nice and crusty. This isn't too bad, but um, nice and gunked up. Lots of corrosion there, it looks like. Um, yeah, nice and dirty all around it. So we'll throw it in the bath. Four minutes and uh, I'll let that water warm up, or the solution warm up, and then I'll um, get back with you. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I decided I am going to do the float too, just the float. I took the needle off of it and the pin out. Um, so these these are the parts that are all going to go in to the contain the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, um, the float bowl, the carb body, jets, everything. 
um, slider, everything. I'm just going to put it all in there. It has simple green um, aircraft grade clean, uh, cleaner mixed with water is basically what it is. Um, so here we go. Um, hopefully, maybe I need to weigh the floats down some. <laughs> yeah, maybe that'll do. Get all the air out if you can. It's not super important, but it helps. That and then the carb. Oh, look at that! It just barely fits in there. I if I on its side, is that better? I don't know if you can see it, but it's just yeah, it just barely gets down in there. <laughs> Trying to find the best place for it. I guess right there. I'll add a little more water. That's what I'll do. We got a little bit more here. You can see it kind of working already, and I haven't even uh, turned the cleaner on yet. Okay, that'll do it. All right. Um, put the lid back on. Uh, this this tells us that we're going to set it at 40 degrees Celsius. This tells us what it actually is. But this is never right. Um, it takes forever for it to build up when you know that it's already up there to 40. But uh, for some reason, it just doesn't read correctly. And here you can set the time. I'm going to do, just go ahead and do 30 minutes. Um, I did 15 the last time, and it didn't quite get everything, so I'm going to try 30 this time. So I'm going to turn this on. It's going to make some noises that my hearing aids don't like, so I will uh, make it quick. And then I'm going to get out of here. Yep. I don't know if you can hear that, but all I hear is static and stuff in my hearing aids. I have to be about right here. So, I'll see if you can hear it. Okay. I won't subject you to that anymore. <laughs> okay. We're back. Uh, I let that run for 30 minutes. And, um... It's now off, so it reset itself. So let's see what happened. Wow, I don't know if you remember what that water looked like when I put that stuff in. Um, it was just nice, pretty clear purple water. And look at it now. So uh, let's go ahead and pull some of this stuff out. Here's the floats. Sorry, there's, there's the floats. They look good. Here's the slide cover. Looks brand new now. <laughs> That's nice. Here's the slide and needle. I don't know if you can notice, but that needle is now perfectly silver. I mean, it's it got all the gunk off of it. So, that looks good. bottom all right well there's still some some junk on it but I mean it's it's loose you can see it's loose so I'll just take a brush to it real quick and clean it off um, but it looks like it did everything else pretty good and the body itself look at that looks almost brand new <laughs> a little bubble <laughs> Same thing, a couple of small where it was heavily greased or, you know, oil build up, um, but the rest of it looks real good, so that's it. I will, um, as you can see, it did a pretty good job, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, just a little brush and uh, get some of the major big, big parts off of these two pieces, and then I'm going to take them in the house and rinse them off and put it all back together. And then we'll be done. But yeah, like I said, look at that water. You can see it did quite a job. So, all right, I'll go ahead and let it go there. And uh, the next video will probably be about um, trying to start it back up again once this all gets put back together. <laughs>